Trouble you for a light? Sure thing. Ooh, that's some conversation piece. Damn. Rich Uncle gave it to me. I've never even smoked it before. I guess they do work better if you put tobacco in it, don't they? You know, I've been to hundreds of these, these seminars here. This is my first time. Oh, yeah? Hoping to get rich, young man? Well, this might be your lucky day. Notions and proposals. That's me. Oh, mind you, I'm not just an idea man. I'm what they call a conduit. What's a conduit do? Well, for the last few years, I've been looking for an unsung genius, that raw young talent that I can really help. You don't think men like Edison, Alexander Graham Bell, that they made it on their own, do you? They had promoters, men behind the scenes, movers and shakers who connected them to the money. Conduits. I noticed you. You didn't say a word during the seminar, but you've got that gleam in your eye that tells me you're sitting on the golden egg that's just about to hatch. Am I right? Come on, be honest. Well, I am working on something. I was trying to get my nerve up. I haven't shown it to anybody yet. I knew it. Well, young man, you'll never know if it's any good until you do. Would you like to, um, like to talk about it? And this is a lightweight laser sight, fully self-contained. It controls what you might call a miniaturized guided missile. Accuracy? 100% at half a mile. What's the impact? Explodes on contact. It's powered by highly compressed gas. The canister clips on and back and... Yes, and then feeds through here. I've worked in armaments, I know. I've never seen anything like this. This, this, this is years ahead of its time. Thanks. Thanks nothing. I've been looking for this all of my life. I think I know just what to do. What do you mean? Some kind of a partnership. Yeah? What I have in mind. You and I. Hey, what are you doing? <coughs> hey. <coughs> It's a real barn burner, right? Now, my firm runs a little different than most. There's no board of directors at the top. There's only me. When I say yes, it's yes. As of today, you're on the payroll. And this little sweetheart takes top manufacturing priority. Thank you, Mr. Clemens. Mr. Clemens, what about the XB-22? It's already slated for production. Johnny, Johnny, I wouldn't be a good boss or a good friend if I wasn't honest. The XB is a good weapon, and your talent's appreciated. But this one's better, isn't it? Yes, it is. But we're way past the prototype stage. Mr. Clemens, I can't tell you how happy you've made me, sir. Good work, Ray. Good work. Well, 
Congratulations, Ray. Quite a coup you pulled off here today. It's just the beginning. Forget about the rent money. These are for you. Ray, what are you up to? Connie, sometimes a man's life can turn around in one second. Here, let me have these. Look at you. Look at you. Ask me if I like what you're wearing. What do you mean? It's, it's your old sweater. I know, but ask me if I like it. You like what I'm wearing? I hate it. And I hate this stupid apartment. You deserve so much better. And baby, you're going to get it. Do you hear me? You're going to get it! Honey. Brian. Well, there you are. Anything happen while I was out? Yeah. Jack went to sleep. No, excitement. <laughs> Here, it's a letter. It just came for you. Oh, no. What is it? It's a wedding invitation. My dad's getting married again. Great. Ryan. For as long as I've known you, you haven't received so much as a, a phone call or a card from him. And now this. And you're just going to ignore it? Yep, that's right. Your father's getting married. Let's just drop it, OK? Not unless I get a reasonable explanation. Let's just say I don't get along with him. I haven't talked to him in years. Why not? I, I guess I'm a disappointment to him. I always tried to be what he wanted, and I just got tired of it. I quit school and ran as far away from him as I could. Well, maybe he's mellowed. I mean, he's starting a new life. You don't know him. Ryan, as long as you keep running, he still rules you. Maybe it's time to make peace. Look, you'll never know unless you try. Besides, you could probably use a vacation, and it's only four or five hours by car. I don't know. Looks to me like you want to. Okay, all right. Only under one condition. Anything. The invitation says I can bring a guest. can't be the right place. My father's never had two dimes to rub together. Ryan, it's the address on the card. <sighs> I don't get it. Well, you'll never know unless you ring the doorbell. This is a mistake. Hi, Dad. doing here? You, uh, you sent us an invitation. I what? He didn't. I did. <sighs> Come in. Don't just stand out there in the cold. I, I'm Connie. This is, uh, Mickey, cousin Catherine's daughter. She, uh, helps me out down at the store. Oh, you're both welcome. Connie, why didn't you tell me about this? Ray, we are getting married. I thought it was high time you two buried the hatchet. Now, don't you have anything to say to your son? Nice place you got here. 
Life's coming up roses for us. Ray, why don't you take Ryan over to the factory? Show him around. He doesn't want to see a factory. He just got here. No, no, I'd, I'd like to see it. For me. Why don't you take the bags up first? Okay. That'll be fine. Looks that way. Well, I'm getting married tomorrow night. <laughs> and I got a million things to do first. Uh, I hope you don't mind being worked to death. What are vacations for? Yeah, come and see the house first. We just bought it. Actually, the hardest part was coming up with the laser homing guidance system. Once I solved that problem, the rest was easy. It's just a matter of getting it to the right people. This thing sells itself. Now, I got one more day. After tomorrow's demonstration for the buyers, I'm home free. Mixing business with pleasure, huh? Having the wedding right after the demonstration? Look, this isn't playtime, son. Everything I've got is writing on this demonstration. Everything. It's not in the bag yet. Man, in my position always has enemies. Enemies? Little fish. Don't like big fish coming in from the outside and gobbling up all the fish food. These people in this place would like to slice me up and serve me on a plate. Ray, I've been meaning to talk to you. Speaking of which, you're going to be around for a while. I'd like a word with you. Do I know you? Uh, I'm his son, Ryan. Uh, I'll catch up to you. Who was that guy? John York. Jealous little man. Probably from a long line of jealous little men. That stuff starts in childhood. A boy needs someone to look up to, somebody to pattern himself after. Now, my father. Died the day I was born. I never knew him. But that doesn't mean that I didn't have anyone. I had Louis Bondredi. Uncle Louis? You never told me that. Well, it was sort of between us while he was alive. Now, there was a man with will and knowledge when I was four years old. And I tripped over a rusty can and fell. The lid was bent up and caught me right under here. I ran up to him, howling, blood just running down. Lewis put something right there, and the cut went away. Like it had never been there. The blood just disappeared like magic. Lewis was always dirt poor, just lived hand to mouth. But I loved him. Huh? One day, he struck it rich, overnight. How that little store could make such a bundle, I'll never understand. But I do know this. If my Uncle Lewis could do it, I can do it. Oh, could you put those up in the top of that closet, please? OK. Thanks. China. No, no, not to worry. What's this? That's Ray's old photo album. Oh. Hey, there's pictures of Ryan in here. Yeah. That's Ray when he was a little boy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Who's that with him? That's his uncle Louis. Louis Vondredy? Uh huh. You know, he was the only person who ever gave Ray a Christmas present when he was a little boy. Connie, did Lewis give him anything in later years? Oh, an old pipe. Ray calls it his good luck charm. This is just the beginning. We've got all kinds of toys in the shop. Nerve gases, stun guns. We've got a pneumatic hypo that can render a man unconscious in two seconds. And Last but not least, my little beauty, a laser homing, ex 
explosive launcher. Clip. Just point the laser at the target, pull the trigger, and zap, you kill a man. English, French, Chinese, it doesn't care. I can't believe this came out of your head. Why not? Don't you think I've got what it takes? No, I'm just surprised, that's all. Ryan, look at this. Look at this. This is solid. This is real. If this demonstration tomorrow goes the way I think it'll go, this will make me a rich man. Go on, son. Hold it. No, no, I don't want to. Come on. No. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You're the artistic type. Dad. Have you ever taken a stand on anything in your life? Can we not get into this? You drop out of college to play shopkeeper. Why Uncle Lewis left that place to you, I'll never understand. Is there a point to this? Yes, you're not a kid anymore. You're a man. You gotta do something important with your life. Ryan, don't go back. Stay here with me. I can get you a great job. I got a job and a life. What life? You don't have a life. You're going nowhere. If Uncle Lewis were here, he'd tell you the same thing. Uncle Lewis made a deal with the devil. That's where he got all his money. I've been running all over hell trying to retrieve his cursed antiques, trying to undo some of the damage, so don't give me Uncle Lewis! What the hell are you talking about? Forget it. Just... just forget it. All right? Ray, I've got to see you. It can wait! It can't wait. I'll be in my lab. Now. Ryan, let's not leave him like this. I'll be back. You got five minutes, York. I need your signature on this. What is this? It assigns all the rights of your weapon to me. You can assign this and then fade away. You've really gone nuts. Yeah, I thought you might feel like that, so I prepared a little folio for you here. Take a look at this. It'll be worth it to you. I thought that might interest you. The weapon was invented a long time before you came to us, Ray. Keith Fielding is the name of the inventor. There's a patent application that was never filed, and Fielding's name's on that, too. Looks like you stole the gun, Ray. I can't prove that. You can avoid a lot of embarrassment if you just sign this and then get the hell out of here. Oh, by the way, I've, uh, I've got someone I'd like you to meet. Will you step in here for a moment, please? Who are you? I'm Nathan Fielding. Nathan's the brother of the man who designed this weapon. His brother seems to have disappeared. I've searched every place for him, every company he's ever dealt with, and I'm getting nowhere. We're sorry about that. If we hear anything at all, we'll contact you. Do you mind if we uh, hang on to these copies? Oh, none at all. If it help. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Dalian just wanted to meet you for a moment. Thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll just leave you with these. Don't rush your decision. Just don't be here when I get back.
Mickey, what the hell's going on? There was a man and he was covered with smoke. Okay, okay, okay. Take, take a breath. Ease it down. What are you doing here? Not nothing, Dad. Uh, Mickey just had a scare. Why? What did you see? What did you see? Hey, hey, take it easy. I'm sorry. It was nothing. I, I didn't see anything. I got confused looking for Ryan. Um, it's, my imagination got the better of me. I gotta get out of here. Come in. Ryan, I have to know more about your father. I come back here, I feel like a kid again. I'm always trying to please him, wanting to be what he wants me to be. I just, I just wish for once he'd look at me for who I am and be proud of me, you know? Success is a, big thing with him, isn't it? It's the only thing in his life. Yeah, a lot of people are like that. Always looking for that one big score. It got worse after my brother died. He started dragging mom and me from town to town, from one grungy apartment to another. If we had just stayed in one place, but uh, he always had this um, hunger about him. Ambition, ambition, I guess. That's, uh, ambition can be a terrible thing. Brian, I just can't forget what I saw. There was smoke and the man was screaming. <laughs> it could be a practical joke. It could be anything. We, we were in a weapons factory. It, uh, it could have been an accident. Yeah, but what about the pipe? Connie told me that Lewis gave your father a pipe. What about a pipe? You're talking about a pipe that we don't know anything about. And if there is a pipe, is it an antique? Did Uncle Lewis give it to him before he made the pact with the devil? I mean, for all we know, he got it from a smoke shop, right? Ryan, you're not even trying you're to be... You're talking about a pipe that you have never seen. And if there is a pipe, he's not using it. No way! Ryan. Why would my father use a cursed object? Just, be, just because he's, he knew Uncle Lewis? I mean, that's no reason to condemn him. Give him a break, huh? I mean, he's got, he's got a wedding and, and a demonstration coming up tomorrow, and he's under a lot of pressure. Okay? Okay. Okay. I don't want them here. I want them to go. Ray, you're not making any sense. Why? Ryan seems like a real fine young man. Sam, you, I am 54 years old. I have worked for tomorrow all of my life. If I blow this demonstration, I'll be right back where I was before. I can't divide my attention between my work and you and Ryan. Can't you ever see my side? <laughs> Oh, my God. Connie. Oh, Connie, I'm sorry, honey. Please, please, Connie. Connie, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, honey. Please. I always thought that having your dream come true would make you happy. It hasn't. You've changed. You're, you're sullen and you're angry. Honey, we'll be all right. After tomorrow, we'll be fine, honey. You see, the, the, the pressure will be off. It's just a pleasure, honey. Connie. Connie. Oh, Connie. <laughs> Hello, Jack. 
you know anything about a pipe? Give me a hand with this. You take that end. Oh, God. Only five hours till my wedding. I can't believe it. In an hour until the demonstration. We're a family that likes stress. Looking for something? Oh, um, yes. Linen napkins. Napkins are in the kitchen. Thank you. I'll get it. <laughs> Jack, what are you doing here? My, uh, my boy, surprise, surprise. It was uh, kind of slow down at the store, and I began to think, hey, I could use a vacation, too. Mickey. Yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, I wanted to see the old bluff that this chip came off. <laughs> What's this now? Dad, Dad, I want you to meet Jack Marshak, friend of Uncle Lewis's. He uh, helps us out of the store. Friend of Lewis's? And of your son. Though he's more than a friend. I owe my life to him. And this must be the bride. <laughs> I, I really didn't mean to party crash. Uh, I'm afraid my uh, curiosity got the better of me is what it was. Can you put up party streamers? My dear, it's my one true calling. Then here. Oh. Does <laughs> <laughs> that mean that I can stay? Oh, just try to escape. I do have one question. How do I get my coat off? Ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> some checking based on what you told me. The manifest lists an 18th century pipe. And although Lewis did receive it, it was never listed as sold. So we could have given it away as a present. Jack, you realize what that means? I know what it could mean. First order of business is to find that pipe. Yeah, but what are we going to tell Brian? No, 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 nothing. Not yet. Look, the man is his father. I think we better keep him out of it until we're absolutely sure. Do this. Dad, Dad, I can tie my own tie. I doubt it. <laughs> Ryan, I want to know why you're here. Because Connie invited me and I wanted to see you. Don't give me that. It's true. I thought things would be different. Look, Dad, I don't want a thing from you. There's nothing you can buy. Like, I hope your demonstration's a success. I hope you make loads of money. I, I don't want any of it. What about the other two? You have to ask them. I think they're just here because they're my friends. And Marshak, what he said about you saved his life. Is that true? Yes. And he saved mine. What we do is dangerous. I don't expect you to believe that we recover cursed antiques, but that's what we do. Why do you do that? I think because of you. Me? Yeah, ever since I was a kid, you've always taught me right from wrong. If you don't do it yourself, no one's gonna do it for you, right? I'll never forget that. Ever. Well, we, we uh, better get a move on here. We'll be late for the factory. The uh, card key's in that drawer over there. I looked at you. I saw that little boy. I guess I still see you like I did when I was a kid. You're not the little boy I was angry at. Dad, I thought you knew everything. I don't see it. Come here, look. Connie! Connie! Jack and Mickey, where are you? They went out 
for a bite to eat. Why didn't you tell me how long have they been gone? Just a few minutes. Damn! Why are you going? You were stalling me. You lied to me. Can you get us into the factory? Yeah, yes, I think so. Where's your car? Uh, it's the blue one down there. Oh, I'll get the key. Ray. Mr. Clemens, like you to meet General Jose Alvilar? Sir? You two with them. Mr. Diego Esposito. How do you do? Gentlemen, this is Ray Dallion, the man who designed the weapon system. I, I know you've come a long way, gentlemen, but I, I think you're in for one hell of a show today. I'll just go ahead and get things ready. El Un poco nervioso. A nervous man. Well, perfectionists always are. Perfectionistas. It's not going to be in here. Jack, what's taking you so long? Sometimes it's a lot harder opening these cheap locks than it is the expensive ones. Did you know that? God, he's coming! Jack! I fly from your country. Hmm. I'm sure Ray will be right here. But while we're here, there is no better time. Yes, sir. Because I see that we have a moment, and I would like to propose a toast to General Abilar. Now, senor, here it is. What you are about to see is the... Uh, Clemens Laser Homing Detonation System. Central Detonation. Pregunta al señor Clemens si lo puedo probar. The general asks if he might not uh, try it out. Certainly, senor. It would be my pleasure. Go right ahead. Gracias. Uy, qué bonito. Hermoso. Yo te aseguro que con esto... Vamos a llegar allí al cierro y vamos a empezar a matar a toda la gente. Date cuenta, mira. Claro. Anda, anda. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Clemens. Oh, we have to find Ray Dalian. Is he here? I, I'm, uh, I'm Connie. This is Ray's son, Ryan. Well, we're expecting him. He's somewhere in the building. Pero qué pasa? Ven aquí, señor Clemens. 
Why isn't he here? This is the most important day of his life. It means the world to him. the cursed pipe and Mickey's in danger, Ryan. Oh my God. No! Say, please! Please, stop! Sorry. Good night. No sign of him. He's just run off. Like his father. God, I'm so sorry. I guess this dream just fell apart, didn't it? Was it?
Why did he do a chat? Why did he get mixed up with it? I, I, I don't understand that. It's such a hard thing when a man reaches the upper limits of his life. There's no room to maneuver. I mean, the future is no longer a landscape of possibilities. It's a narrow ledge over a long, dark drop. And that's a hard thing for a proud man. It's a hard thing for anybody. know him at all. Yes, Ryan, you did. And in the end, he knew you too. Like Uncle Lewis, he renounced the curse and he paid the consequences, but with one big difference. Your father did it for love. 